You may have noticed, but I've been getting into Tarkov a little bit more lately, playing with friends, chilling out, and enjoying my time. My main reason I like Tarkov so much is the slower paced environment. I really, really like Tarkov for how it is slow paced, intense, and when the firefights happen, it's really quick to change and you have to flank and a firefight can last the entire match if you wanted to. I am not a big fan of Arena. That being said though, when they announced the new Arena Trader ref and the linking between Tarkov and Arena, I thought it was a brilliant idea. I thought being able to link the two together by transferring money and stuff like that and completing quests and interlinking them together was great, you know, for those that want to play both. I have a problem though, and I really didn't want to have a problem. I really wanted to be positive and not have any issues with their implementation but there is something that needs to be said because for someone that can't play arena without getting so frustrated with it unless i'm five manning with friends and just memeing about on last hero i just don't understand why there's items in the game that can only be found and unlocked in arena now i'm not talking about cosmetic items like armbands and stuff like that i think that's fine but I'm mainly talking about Liga Medals. If you don't know what a Liga Medal is, it's a token that can be used to barter for some things on Ref. Ref is a trader in main game Tarkov and Arena, and you use him to transfer items between the two. And the questline in main game Tarkov actually is quite interesting. It forces you to go into Arena and play modes. That, I don't care about. You know, if you wanted to do the quest lines, fine. It's not like his quests are required for Capra or anything, so if you are one that enjoys Arena that much, then you go ahead, you know, doing these quests are quite fun, because the majority of them are on base game Tarkov, and then some of the later ones require you to win a match on ranked, and stuff like that. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but if you like the challenge, it's all well and good. The problem is, though, he has his entire inventory and his trader screens, filled up with barters and those barters are mainly for gp coins and they're all modded weapons and stuff like that and stuff that can really help you out in base game tarkov and i think it's really cool that gp coins have a use some items though require other things and that is liga medals and at this point in time the only way you can win them is through arena and the main way of getting these is by completing the daily and weekly tasks that you get as part of refs quests inside of arena and these quests can vary, so some of them can be get 50 headshots with a certain class, or get 4 wins in a row, or something like that. They can vary from being really easy to extremely difficult. And the rewards do pay off, like some of them you can get like 180 GP coins for completing it, and then you can transfer those GP coins to base game Tarkov if you want. And then some of the quests, very rarely, will give you a Liga medal as a reward. I have re-rolled my daily tasks and spent about 25 million rubles in total now trying to find a Liga medal quest. I have found one. This Liga medal quest required me to win a round of team fight eight times by completing the objective, not by killing the enemies, but by securing the capture point. You might think that that's all well and good. That was a daily, not a weekly. And as someone that isn't chronically online and addicted to arena that i don't want to play it for more than a couple hours at a time that's extremely difficult to do and this is not me complaining that the quests are hard because i get that quests should vary especially when they're random dailies but the fact that the liga medals are so hard to get and they are bartered for some of the best items in the game at the minute and i'm talking about the keys for the new locked rooms there are four of them one on each trader level and each of those rooms are absolutely incredible for loot. Just have a look at some of the screenshots on screen right now. They are containing green keycards, black keycards, violet keycards, full tier 5 armors, modded out weapons, gold chains, bitcoins, all of these things that you will get almost every time that you unlock the room. As a base game Tarkov player, that is an incredible loot room to get. So for someone that doesn't grind, Escape from Tarkov Arena, that's extremely annoying 
that you can't get your hands on those keys because there's no other way of getting Liga medals unless you're playing Arena. And this goes down an even deeper rabbit hole where Battlestate are basically forcing the community that want these items and want to complete Ref's questline as the experience or those 100% completionists are basically being forced to go down and play a completely different title. Some people don't have Arena. Some people can't buy Arena. It's a separate package that only certain people get with their edition of the game. If you're a standard edition player, you have to buy Arena separately. That's where my big problem lies. And sure, I'm talking from frustration where I've tried so hard to get these Liga medals because I want the keys that only have five uses, by the way. But it's not just that. It's the fact that they are being forced to go down the route of playing two different games to get items that they might want or to complete quests that they want to do. On top of that, you've also got the ability to transfer XP and money from arena to base game and vice versa. There is, as far as I'm aware, no cap to the XP that transfers across at all. So in theory, you can just level up to level 40 just by playing arena and then go into the base game for the first time and only have to complete quests to get your traders unlocked. I think that's a bit crazy to me. And then you can transfer 1.5 million rubles from arena to base game each day and 2.5 million from base game to arena each day. So from someone that can earn 200,000 rubles per last hero match, you can transfer 1.5 million of that each day. That's basically unlimited money, especially when you can just select Chop Shop as a map you want to do, which only has a six-man player limit, squad up as a five-man, and completely rinse by just standing in a corner and letting your friends run to you, you're always guaranteed first place. And that's an easy 200,000 rubles each match, and the matches only last for six, seven minutes. Unironically, Arena is probably one of the new best ways to make money, and it's locked behind buying it as a separate package if you haven't got it as part of your current one. I know the implementation has only just happened, and I feel like tweaks are going to be made quite quickly, and they're using the end of this current wipe as sort of a test bed for it, but I really do hope there are ways to get the items that you can only trade for Liga Medals in base game, either by getting Liga medals as part of quest rewards in the base game by completing ref daily tasks in the base game, or have all items like that locked behind GP coins rather than Liga medals and have cosmetic items as Liga medals and stuff like that. That would be a better implementation in my opinion. And then further from that, I think tweaking needs to be made by the XP transfer and money transfer to just stop people farming it and doing stuff like that. Other than that, I think linking the ecosystem's pretty good going, but I thought it was going to be more of a way of transferring items like your weapons and going in with your own loadouts and having specific game modes where people are going in with their own loadouts of whatever they choose. Now, the complete main reason I just don't play Arena very often is because, like I said at the start, I much prefer the slower-paced gameplay and... The spawns on Last Hero, if you're not playing as a five-man where you can just laugh it off, is crazy. Dying to someone then spawning right in front of them again shouldn't be a thing. It should be coded where, you know, you just spawn somewhere else (laughs) completely. So speaking on behalf of the people that don't want to play Tarkov Arena for that reason, and for those that just don't want to buy it if they haven't got it already, please Battlestate, implement something that makes it more fair for the casual, normal base game Tarkov players. You know, they should be able to get every item possible in the base game of Tarkov if that's all they're playing. Extra items shouldn't be given to those that have spent money on Arena and grind out Arena. That's just my two cents though. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you so much for hearing me rant again. Like I said, I didn't really want it to be a rant because I was quite looking forward to the implementation. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.